welcome to every shot from an 11 handicappers round here at the Shire. This is Seve Ballesteros only course in the UK. He's a devil for putting hazards, difficult greens. It's just going to be a bit of a challenge. I won't lie. Got Oakley and Harry playing with me today, although they won't be appearing on camera. I'm not going to lie. The weather is all over the place. The greens have been spiked. We've got loads of wind. It's about to rain. It's been sunny this morning. I don't know what we're going to get. And we've got the most intimidating first tee shot in golf. It's a long par three to Peninsula Green. I mean, that's just not what you need to start you off. Nothing like a big gust just as you're about to hit, isn't there? Hold on. Hold on. Sit. Yeah, okay, we're on. Happy days. Right, so we're off to a good start. We've made the green, which is big news. Uh, with the greens being punched, they're going to be rolling a little bit different today, but hopefully that's not going to affect us too much. It'll probably mean that the greens are actually a little bit slower, which is good because they would usually be an absolute nightmare here. Very undulating, very quick. So this is a bit of a let off. I think my aim today with the conditions is probably to shoot about 15 over. Let's see if Harry can get back over. Oh, that is unreal. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, we've got 33 foot for a birdie to start the day. There's a good chance it goes in as well. Ah, we'll take it, we'll take a tap in. There we go. Hole number two is a 352 yard par four. Interesting decision to be made with two bodies of water. It's stroke index number five. Quite an intriguing hole this one. Uh, you've got a body of water in front and then you've got another body of water. Potentially with the downwind, it could carry the second body of water, but I feel like it's better just to lay off and leave myself with like 180 in. So I'm gonna hit eight iron here. Uh, that'll be good, yeah. Yep, perfect. Yep, gonna place it any better. So we're directly downwind, although it's coming off the left a little bit. Pin's right in the middle. It's 166 away, but it's uphill, but we're downwind. So it's so playing about 156. So I'm gonna take more club than I need. Because uh, that way, you know, we've got margin for error. Oh, I've caught it fat. Get over the water, please. Oh, that was very, very lucky. Oh, dear. Oh, here comes the rain. Right, jackets are on because the rain has started. It's forecast to go for about an hour and a half. So then it's supposed to be glorious sunshine. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've now got 81 in here. Oh, my God, I shanked it. I am all out of sorts here. Right, we'll get up, we'll get up and down from that, I swear. I do have a tendency to do that. They just come out of nowhere quite frequently for me, the old S word. Um, now I've got to find my ball. All right, not ideal. Not ideal at all. That's pretty good. All right, there's a chance we can get up and down. My hands are freezing and we've only been out for one hole in this. No way, I can't believe the edge didn't gobble it up. Fair enough, it's a double. Next up, we have a 521 yard par five and it's SI9. Oh my God. My head cover's gone. <laughs> I'll go pick that up in a minute. Right, okay. Oh, left! Left! Ain't nobody here in that. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> I think this is going to be a four shot hole guys. I mean, this ball's gone absolutely bloody nowhere. I've got four iron. I can't even make it up as far as the bunkers up there because the wind's so strong, so. Well, that is uh, going. Yeah, it's in the fairway. Now I'm as far away from the definition of a fair weather golfer as you can get. You guys know I've been out all winter playing, grinding to get better for summer, but even I'm starting to think these uh, conditions are a little bit ridiculous. It's just gone completely mental in the space of the last 20 minutes. Got 200 of the pin, it's playing like 230. This is gonna be a good hit with a three wood to get up there, that's for sure. We'll just send it and see. That's not very good, just get over the bunker. No, I think I'm in the bunker. Got about 80 yards. Got to hit 110 shot here. 
bunker's quite firm, so I feel like I can just hit it out as if it's a normal shot. It's out. That's really good. Hopefully it's not too much. Oh, it's really good, it's on. Take that. Well, well the gloves are on and my hands are still freezing. Got 27 foot for par. Um, just need to tickle it over the edge of this uh, ridge and just let it trickle down, I think. That's way too hard. Hit the pin and stop. Oh. That never turned. That's crazy. All right, fair enough. Double again. A long par three next up, 183 yards over water in its SI11. Right, next up we've got this par three, which is playing 183 yards down to 179, but we've got wind behind now, so I don't know what I'm gonna hit. Uh, Enjoying yourself, Harry? Oh, mate, this is what we live for, isn't it? <laughs> These are the days you come out here. He's the reason we're here. I said, oh, it's gonna be raining tomorrow. He said, let's farm it. <laughs> we're here. Get a push wind. It's very left, it's very safe, but yeah, it's on the green. All right, I have got a 75 foot putt for birdie. I think if I made this, it would be by far the longest putt I've ever made, probably by double. So I've got my fingers crossed. It's gonna fall low. Go, 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 go. All right. Oh my god, I burnt the edge so hard there. All right, it's a four. Hole five is a 552 yard par five. It's SI13 and it has a beautiful double green at the end. Just feather it down there, I think. I'll do. Probably in the bunker, isn't it? Oh, it's bouncing. Still got 300 in, so I'm just going to try and take an eight iron, just get this one airborne and moving down the fairway. Leave ourselves like 150 in or something. Well, that has not gone well, has it? Well, it's out. <laughs> oh my God. This is actually getting painful to watch. I do apologize, guys. All right, I've lost track of what number this is. Uh, I've got hybrid. We're just going to try and finish this hole off and just move on to the next, really. Uh, it's going to run, hopefully. Get on the green. Go. Oh. Yeah, it's almost there. We've got about 40 yards here. Ah, oh, I've had it. Go. Yeah, very wet. Stop. Well, hopefully I can make that. All right, I've got to make this because my shot counter only goes up to eight. So if I don't get this in, then the, the video's going to just glitch out, I guess. Thank God. All right, triple. We can see the sun. It's starting to poke through. So hopefully that's the end of that. and We can actually start playing some slightly better golf now. Hole six is a narrow 430 yard par four. It is the hardest on the course. Hopefully I don't thin this or otherwise my hands are going to shatter. Pured it. I do like that. Okay. All right, we've got 200 into this pin. It's downwind though. I've got four iron in hand. Four iron, four iron. There was actually a lot more space up here than I thought. Ah, not the cleanest of strikes. <laughs> and by that, I mean, it's about 50 yards short of the green. So not the ideal start, but we're sticking in there. We're hanging in there tough and there's still loads of golf to play. So, I mean, we could have an amazing back nine. We'll have to wait and see what happens, won't we? That's not very good. It's gonna get on the green. It's on the green. Let's go two putt. About 40 foot here for a par. Go ball. Oh, I've left that so short. I can't believe I missed that low. Okay, that's uh, not good. I was expecting the bleeding to stop there, but it's just kept on going. My aim now is to try and shoot better than what I shot at the Belfry. So we're looking at like, I think that 24 over mark, uh, which is unbelievable to say, but we are already 10 over 
um, on the front line. Hole 7 is 123 yard par 3. It's the second easiest on the course. This one's at the back. We're into wind again, so going to hit 7 iron here. That looks all right. It's not the greatest hit, but it's working. Yeah. See you there. I mean, the camera can't do it justice, but like I am about to putt down a helter skelter, guys. We've got 60 foot here for birdie. Ah, I think I've pushed that a little bit. That's not even going to get anywhere near. Oh, such a good roll as well. Ay, ay, ay. All right, that's a four. It's not a double bogey, but it does take us to 11 over through seven holes. Not particularly good going at the moment. We've got another par five here. It's 529 yards long and it's SI 15. Par five, the sun is back out, guys. Come on. We're going to go at nine. We're going to go to the car park and get a change of clothes just to warm up a bit. That'll do. I think it might even be in the fairway. Right, gonna hit hybrid here. I need this one to really, you know, scamper a bit. We're so far away still. Ball is traveling nowhere in this wind. That'll do it. That's marching on. Very nice. I think it's a nine iron. Throw on it, not a great strike. Uh, it's rolled off the back, guys. Sad. Thinned the hell out of it. Yeah, I'm not going to make excuses, but my arms feel like lead. They're just so cold. Um, yeah, can't wait to get to the car to warm up. Look for the spot we want to land this one. Bladed it. Just don't roll off the frack, please. It's been a while since I've had to do this. Backwards and forwards across the green. Oh, hello, go in. Ah, oh, I said it, I shouldn't have said it. Oh my God, I thought I missed for a second there. All right, it's a bogey. This is the third hardest hole on the course. It's a par four, it's all uphill and it's 405 yards long. All right, we are gonna hit a hybrid here. Plan is to lay up in front of that left bunker, leaving us about 200 in. That is so bad. Uh, there's not really much to write home about today. Um, gonna hit hybrid again because you know I just hit it so bloody well that I should hit it again. Well, we've hit it. Just don't end up behind a tree. Oh God! I'll send help, guys. Just gonna check this one out sideways. We're out. Okay, we've got 100 into this pin. I've hit that so well, that could be really, really good. Oh, Harry loves it. Harry loves it. <laughs> and by that, I mean, I think he hates it because we're currently doing skins. We've rolled over three skins. Harry's currently winning three one-to-one -one against me in Oakley. He has a shot in this hole and I've just stuck it close to put the pressure on. Oh, heartbreak. Harry takes all the skins. Oh, <laughs> toilet bowl, that one. Let's go, baby. Fresh jumper on, hat on, feeling a bit warmer. Had a coffee. Back nine, here we come. We can only do better than that first half, surely. We've rounded the turn and we're now on to a par four. It's 402 yards long. It's downhill and it's SI6. There's a water hazard down there. Going to hit hybrid, so here we go. I'll play. No bother there. About 189 in here, so got a five iron. Oh no, that might end up in the water. Hold up, fella, hold up. I think that's in. All right, somehow we are up. Living absolutely lavish here. All is covered in mud here. I'm, gonna go I'm actually going to chop this one out. Roll. 33 foot for par. Don't think I've had a par since the first hole, so it'd be good to start getting some now. 
Yeah, it's a decent roll. Oh, Jesus, tried to dive on me, but that's a bogey. Hole 11 is a 525 yard par five and it's SI 12. I feel good about this one. Just gonna try and carry that bunker. That'll do. Turn the left a little. Stay out of the trees. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do here, but um, we're about 250 away with a huge downwind. So there's a chance I could sneak it onto the front, but there's a huge tree in the middle of the fairway. Um, but I can't really see a better option because I feel like that tree could be a real problem if I try and lay up. Like there's not enough space to lay up into. So <laughs> three wood is out. Three wood is out. Oh, it's come out right. Right! Oh yeah, I see it. It's in, it's in the trees, guys. Just where you want it, in the trees. Worried about being behind one tree and now in amongst about 6,000. Good logic there. Oh no, we're good, we came through. We're literally unobscured shot to the green. All right, unbelievably, we got 56 yards. Don't want to go it long, so I'm gonna hit about 40, I think, just to get it on the green. That could be really good. I think we've got a legit I mm, know, oh okay, it's checked up. I was going to say a legit chance for birdie, but I think we're miles away. Go on, turn more. It's a par, guy. You know what? I'll take a par. All right, there you go. Confirmation. What a par. Come on, come on. Hole 12, 193 yard long par three, and it's SI8. Right, 188 yards here, playing straight into, well, Gale force wind, so I'm gonna hit hybrid. Oh, it's floating with a bunker on the left. Get over it. In it, oh, by an inch. All right, fair enough. Ah, sand shot coming up. Oh, that's so good. Stop there. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> 10 foot here to safe par. See if we can roll this one in. Yeah, except I actually aimed it there and it didn't turn at all, even though I said to myself that it's not going to turn at all. Still aimed it over there, so that's unfortunate. Just a bogey though. Next up is our first downwind par five of the day. It's 454 yards long. It's actually the easiest on the course as well. Uh, yeah, just I'm kind of sick of just not hitting driver, so I'm just going to hit driver. i um, smashed that, but I don't know if there's space right of the bunker. Okay, so here's the update. We cleared the bunker, but unfortunately we have come down to a very low spot and well, it's just, I mean, puddles. So we're gonna have to find somewhere that's no puddles, but there really isn't anywhere, so. That was a 333 yard drive. Uh, that is unbelievable. The wind must have absolutely blown it. We've now got 148 to the pin here, straight at that tree pretty much. So way left. I'm definitely not on the green there. We'll go up and find it. Kind of short-sided myself now. Got to try and get this up and down for a birdie. Sit. Big kick to the right and it's just going to roll forever. Birdie chance is dead, but maybe we can make par. Oh, that's not bad. Go on. Oh, my birdie, no. Oh, it's another par though. We can't say no to that. Happy days. Next up is a par three. It's 168 yards long and it's SI 16. Now, if you're wondering why there's so many par threes, this course has actually been designed so there's six par threes, six par fours and six par fives and you never play a whole of the same par twice in a row. It's very sevy, I won't lie. Of course, he won the Open multiple times. He won the Masters multiple times. Five time major winner. A little bit of knowledge for you there. As we get onto this par three, I'm gonna hit six iron because although it feels very windless here, I think it's very windy up there. No, I fatted it. Just stay short of that water. Yeah, that's fine, it's alive. Not the best of connections, but it's on dry land and we are putting. So, so Sevi was known for his magic hands and his touch around the green and you can really like kind of understand he was known for his creativity so all of these undulations on the greens these really really intricate approach shots and stuff it, it just screams him doesn't it go, 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 go. uh it's good for weight
Oh dear, okay, fair enough. Not a great three putt there. Although as a lot of people actually said, oh my God, my hair is a nightmare. Um, a lot of people said that if you putt from a fringe, it isn't a three putt, so a good two putt there. And just a poor approach, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't that bad, but yeah. <sighs> That's a double. Onto the second hardest hole on the course. It's 385 yard par four. Right, wind is kind of straight into face, uh, aiming at that bunker up on the left top of the hill. I shouldn't be able to make it there, so. Oh, that might be in water. That's in serious danger. Uh, I mean, it's red stakes up there. We may be in. All right, we'll say as it is, guys. Um, it's alive. Fantastic. Awful, awful lie. It's not ideal. It might be in bunker front right, but I think from that lie and my skill set, <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, no, guys. We've got serious woes here. Oh, you got it. Literally just fallen in the water. No. The spinny trajectory there has kind of completely screwed me, sadly. Um, it's just scampered into the water. So, penny drop. This is going to be my fourth shot here. I could not have done better. A million attempts, I probably wouldn't have done better than that. Come on, we need a putt to drop today. We need one to drop, seriously. <sighs> one day, one day. You know what, it's probably a good that we're having a stinker today because then next time we do some luck. Not that I'm saying any of this has been about luck. It's not been an unlucky performance, it's just been, you know, genuinely terrible, but. <laughs> Hole 16 is a beast, 558 yards into wind. It's SI 14, how is that even possible? Okay, a uh, bit of a weird one because although the fairway looks like it starts over there, you've got to go directly over to the right so don't be don't be worried when this one disappears off to the right guys i'm aiming over there that's perfect little draw oh yep it's bounding it's bounding like it's summer a decent enough drive um still got a long way in probably like the best part of 280 or something uh, i'm just gonna hit three wood and just get it up there really Oh, I've absolutely smoked it. Love that. Just got to avoid the bunker. It's just drifting so left. Yeah, that's really good. Happy with that. Right, the wind has really just picked up. Um, it's saying that a 60 yard shot is going to play like 85. The pin is tucked behind the bunker. I don't really want to take it on. I think I'm just going to go left of it. That could be really good. Oh, we've got a legit birdie putt. A legit birdie putt. Thank you. Yeah, like that. All right, we have got a 12 foot here for birdie. No! Ah, oh, rats. Well, I wasn't leaving it short, that's for sure. There we go. A par into the strongest headwind of my life. Our last par three of the day is another long one. It's 178 yards long and it's SI 10. Okay, I mean, I'm about to hit a four iron into a green that's about 185 away, but the wind is just blowing a gale, so bailout is definitely left-hand side um, because there's water right and short, so. It's just got to go left, it's fine though. Yeah, we played it safe, like we're alive, that's the main thing on this hole. I am currently 100 foot from the pin here. Pretty much on the head. Oh, somehow I need to, I won't lie, that looks dreadful. That's not the putter's fault, that was my fault. I've barely made contact. <laughs> Just feels so good when it comes off the face. But that is another woeful putt from me, I won't lie. Uh, I mean, it's a three putt. I'm not counting the one from the fringe, as you guys told me not to. Ay, ay, ay. All right, Harry, what's the assessment of the round so far, mate? Um, I won't lie, it's been a bit of a honker all it's, round. 
I mean, that rainstorm at the start really did get us. Yeah. Like, that was hard work there. We were in the trenches. We were in the proper trenches. But we've, we've kept our heads up. Yeah. We've got around, haven't we? Oakley tapped out, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tough people, what's it? Like, tough times don't last, tough people last. Yeah, there, there you go. I love that. <laughs> and to finish it off, we have one of the signature holes. It's a par four. It's 419 yards long, and it finishes on a peninsula green. That'll play. Just got to... Get around left. Find me some fairway. Yeah. yeah, that's fairway. Final, hopefully, final iron shot of the day. I have to hit this like 190 yards over some trees. Uh, to say I'm a little bit worried would be an understatement, but here we go. Oh, I've absolutely crunched it. Please don't go left. No. I think that's wet. I caught it so well as well, just pulled it, just tugged it a little left. Guys, we're up. We are actually up. There is no way. Only issue is, it's under this fence, which is man-made, so I know I get relief from that. Oh my God, it is actually up. That's crazy. All right, I just need to get it over the crest of this hill with a little bit of pace, and then it should, should do the rest, to be honest. I'm gonna go for a little chop technique. Oh, now slow down. Oh, it gets better and better. Short. Sure. <laughs> that just kind of sums up my day, I won't lie. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh, my Lord. Right, okay. I mean, why didn't I just do that? I could have done that from there, where I just literally just turned off and just putted it in. Oh, well. Right, that is 22 over today, guys. Better than the Belfry in far, far worse conditions. Probably just as tough a kind of course. Um, yeah, it was hard work out here. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see another video from me, just click right here.